Hello, hello, and welcome back to Life with Mama Khan. Today I'm showing you how I make this delicious Mexican-inspired crispy bell pepper. I'll start by showing you how I make the sauce, then the salad or pico de gallo, and then I'll show you how I made the crispy bell peppers. The sauce is like the enchilada sauce, but not exactly the same thing. This is my version. So basically, I just added some vegetable oil to a pan and then fried some onions in it. Then I added some garlic paste. A little water and a chicken stock cube. And then tomato puree. added a tablespoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of red cayenne, a heap teaspoon of paprika, and a heap teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and one to two teaspoons of tomato paste. Then I gave that a stir and added in some water and left it to cook for about 20 minutes on the lowest flame, checking to see that it doesn't burn. Meanwhile, I prepared the pico de gallo, which will be used during plating the dish. This is just some diced onion that I had left over from a curry. Then I diced a tomato, chopped some strands of coriander, I mix these three in a bowl with some pepper and salt. I took two halves of different bell peppers because that's just what I had in my fridge and I cut them as you see you can see here. Then I placed these on my pan with the skin side down and let them get nice and soft so I can remove their skin. I kept these on a low heat and while they were cooking, I made the batter to coat them in. So this was the batter that made my bell peppers crispy. I separated the egg whites from the egg yolk so that I can fluff up the egg whites with an electric hand mixer. Once the whites became foamy, I added the yolks one by one and mixed them. You only need to add one tablespoon of flour to this so that it becomes nice and crispy when it gets fried. By this time, my bell peppers were done. I cooked them for roughly 10 minutes on a low heat. We don't want them to get mushy, okay? Just enough so the skin peels off. Helper here wanted to peel the bell pepper as well. Then I coated my bell pepper in the batter very well and started to fry them in my oil, which was at medium heat. in about two minutes and they had become lovely and crispy at this point. Then it was time to plate. So I plated by first adding my crispy bell pepper, then I added mozzarella slices. It would be better to grate it though, but I was in a rush this day. Then I topped it off with enchilada sauce that I made at the beginning. Then some full fat Greek yogurt and the pico de gallo as well. I served it with Mexican tomato rice and refried beans.
I filmed my husband for the first time so he could do a taste test and he actually couldn't believe this was vegetarian. It was really good. So I hope you try this recipe. I'm sure you and your family will love it just as much as we did. And please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos so I, I can keep making more. See you next time!